My name is Eric Conover. That is a giant man made out of snow. This is a bed made out of ice. In fact, this whole building is made out of snow and ice. It is minus 11 degrees in northern Finland and I am about to spend the night in the Snow Village Ice Hotel. Let's start off with some hotel stats. The Snow Village covers an area of 20,000 square meters. It's built up every year from scratch and construction begins around late October to early November when it gets cold enough. The hotel is constructed from 20 million kilos of snow and 350,000 kilos of crystal clear natural ice. The temperature in the Snow Village remains at a, I mean, I guess you could call it comfortable, minus 2 to about minus 5 degrees Celsius and now for the grand tour let's start off in the ice restaurant tonight we are dining in the world's largest igloo I've traveled around the world and I've stayed in some pretty cool places in my time but I've never ever stayed in a place made out of snow Basically, everything in here is ice. Table, made out of ice. Chair, made out of ice. Bar, made out of ice. Silverware, not made out of ice. I'm not actually sitting on ice. I'm sitting on a nice little butt warmer faux fur. We have some blankets. We have some hot, hot tea to warm the soul. To Finland! Bye. Cheers live! Maybe because it was freezing or maybe because the food was actually incredible. I had a plate of lapish delicacies with baked ice cream for dessert and it was probably one of the best meals I've ever had in my life. Also the meal is included with a stay overnight at the Snow Village Ice Hotel. This is actually pretty ironic. Every hotel in Finland is required by law to have fire extinguishers. So in the ice hotel there's fire extinguishers. The walls are lined with these pieces of clear ice with blue glacier lights illuminating them through the whole hallway. We just finished up our dinner in the ice restaurant and now we're going to the ice bar. Okay, but this is what it looks like with people actually in it. Since the hotel is open to the public until 10 p.m., the bar is usually pretty packed. It was more or less a huge melting pot for, for people all over the world. Cheers. 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 I got tonic because I don't drink, but what'd you guys get? Uh, we got a special yobber, yobber. Just put the, show the B-roll. The Ice Hotel was built this year in collaboration with HBO's Game of Thrones, and it was actually featured in the show last season. So if you're in the mood to watch some Game of Thrones or a film, you can do so in the Ice Cave movie theater. And also, you're thinking to yourself, man, this is a very, very romantic part of the world. You can actually come here and get married in the Ice Chapel. Right here, this is where you would do it. This is where you would tie the knot with the love of your life in an igloo. And it's actually, honestly, it's something like out of a fairy tale and... What is that? Where, where are you going? That's just in case you get cold feet, you know? Oh my god. If you jump down here off the altar, you look back and there's definitely a good amount of seating here. Family and friends. And now for the rooms. There are 30 rooms in the ice hotel eight of which are suites. Each suite has an individual piece of art that was commissioned by world famous artists. So you walk into this room and there is some kind of sorcerer, Viking man with some big snow globe. The level of detail that you can get out of snow, like even up close, it, it makes it even more impressive the closer you get to it. Every suite has a different piece of art, so let's go check out the other ones. Seriously, if you were a kid and you saw so this, scary. nightmares. I saw little kids, they were, they were scared to come in here. This is a regular room, there's no artwork, just a bed, mattress. You can't really tell until I put on the wide angle lens how, how big this. these rooms are and how massive the art is. I mean, that's, what's that, eight foot probably? If you get a little cold in the ice hotel, if you're not, you can walk outside here. Got a beautiful full moon back there. You cross this little area over here. There's a nice man to greet you. Oh, well, thank can you. I, can I keep you warm? Welcome. There's a fire that's probably burning 24-7. You can grab a fur and just warm up. All of the visitors have left. It is now just the guests. 
that are spending the night in the hotel and before there's a very party-like atmosphere now it almost has an eerie kind of haunted vibe to it wouldn't you say it's like it's like really really quiet like because all the snow just absorbs the sound it's it's kind of scary it's like listen. ready set it's so okay. quiet this ice hotel is massive and I'm kind of whispering now just because it is nighttime. It's almost midnight. So now I'm taking the path to the heated area where we change into our sleeping bags. So these are all the sleeping bags all stacked up right here. You come over this way, you grab your pillow. Then on this side they have towels and there is actually a shower here. There's showers, there's bathrooms, all that. This is the actual hotel. You know, the ice rooms are kind of just the place to sleep. You have your sleeping bag liner, which is rated to, I believe the one guy said he's camped out at minus 45, Mike? Yes. Yeah, so this can get pretty cold. So you have your liner here, you put your liner, you jump in this first, then you slide into your sleeping bag. Then right up here, you have these little draw cords. So you pull on these guys, and more or less you are in a little cocoon. Well, I mean, you'll see right now, back in my ice room. This is my room for the night. I have the koi pond room. I'm gonna wear a hat. I'm gonna wear wool socks, long johns, and thermals. Maybe gloves too, who knows, if I'm feeling a little, a little nippy. Electronics go in the sleeping bag. Your phone will die, your camera will die, all that's gonna die if you leave it on the ice. And this is like a heavy duty sleeping bag. Once you get in this bag, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda toasty. Hat's very critical, but the temperature is minus nine or minus 10 Celsius. It's actually colder in the ice hotel than outside. I'm gonna go into my room and cocoon myself. Good luck, good night, and I'll see you in the morning. Are you gonna sleep in the ice hotel or are you gonna go sleep in the warmth of the lobby? Uh, I haven't decided yet, but I'm probably gonna sleep in the ice hotel. I'm gonna have the camera by my bed documenting, you know, if I wake up, if I'm sleeping. So either I will see you at sunrise or I'll see you if I can't sleep in a few hours. Six forty-seven in the morning after a night in the ice hotel the lovely man from the front desk just came in with a warm blueberry juice to kind of kickstart it um uh yeah i look like i just slept on an ice bed okay i'm a bit more awake left the ice hotel now walking into the main area which is actually like a normal hotel to find a delicious spread of breakfast laid out you have eggs you have all your bread you have cheese the cheese here is very good another alternative to having breakfast in the warm kitchen is to come out here to the official cold dining room and set up the big table and have your breakfast here but as you can see no one has opted for the cold option because after spending a night in this place you are out of your damn mind if you want to have breakfast in the cold. But after I woke up, I went to the front desk and I found a diploma with my name on it, which says, congratulations. Here is the big question. Would you spend a night in the ice hotel? Comment down below, yes or no, if you would stay here in this giant igloo for the night. And make sure to check out the rest of the Finland travel series. This is just one video in a pretty, I mean, this trip has been nuts. We've done some pretty crazy stuff, so check that out down below in the description. Make sure to leave a like, so we'll see you from a beach, hopefully, in the next video. Peace.